Hey yo, what's going on? But once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegs. This is the one and only course, Mr. Nintendo Switch 2011, aka Chris and Guy 2009. Of course, you guys are wrestling to channel before we begin. Definitely check out freenow.com. Of course, trouble on our shoes and that fame. One official channel, banner, design, and picture specifically made just for you guys. I'll put links to all their social media networking and constant description box down below. And of course, as always, definitely check out their business partial program. Best partnership ever had. Definitely check them on Google as well. I want to give a really special, before I do begin, I want to give a real quick shout out. I forgot what your name was, man, and I do apologize, but thank you very much for the real nice comment on that uh, video of a 651 subscriber video that I saw, and all seven to ten people that saw my video there. Thank you guys very much from the bottom of my heart. It's great. It's good to know that, you know, me doing, not just with reacting videos, but with um, other content like Pokemon, My Little Pony, and all that other stuff, anime um, reactions, which I was going to do today. I'm going to save it for tomorrow, though, because I have some certain things to attend to today. And it's not Wednesday or Thursday. It's just... It's not really big, not really a big deal, really. Anyways, um, yeah, I just want to give a special shout out to those guys. I might have to do some two-part videos. I'm pretty much almost guaranteed I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And I just want to thank you guys for giving me up to um, 651 subscribers. It was gonna be 650, but hey, you know what? Thank you very much for that other extra person that subbed on the last minute. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. I'm going to be um, reacting to this thing. I'm not going to get too much into updates that much. I really don't have too much to say on updates. Pretty much the same as always. Um, I started my job today on Friday. I know I've been saying it was Monday or Tuesday. It was actually Friday I was going to start today. So I'm really, really tired. I um, ended up starting my other thing that was like some factory type of job. I'll just say it has stuff to do with ice. And that's all I'm going to leave it at. Because, it's, again, I really don't need stalkers. If you live out here in Vegas and you're one of my subscribers, I don't kind of don't want you to stalk me. I'm just saying that's a thing. In real life, I meant. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a problem that the same kind of kind of would, because I'm not sure if you people are killers or drug murderers or rapists or anything. Like that. I hope you guys aren't, but for the people that watch my videos, hopefully they're not. But anyways, um, I decided to turn the light on now because I know it's going to start getting dark as hell. I would have done this earlier, but like I said, I have stuff to attend to, and I still got to um, do business stuff to attend to if I had to do this into a two-part video. So this is uh, My Little Pony French Magic YouTube Poop. Road apples are dangerous. <laughs> I already watched a couple of these last night so I could get in the mood to try to do it today and it actually worked. 23,000 views on the person that did it was um, Kill Culture 4. So shout out to Kill Culture 4. Um, I'll put the link to his um, video in the description box down below if you want to watch it with me. All the good stuff and the links and annotation on the side as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, thank you very much for letting me hit up to 651 subscribers. That's amazing. Now let's see if we can get up to 700 before 2015, before 2016. That would be amazing, but I doubt that's probably not going to be until like March or April by the time I hit 700 subscribers, which is going to be six, seven months from now. Maybe less if I'm lucky. It is what it is. It's usually about three, six months by the time I get like usually 100 subscribers. That would be amazing. Um... And that means I got like 449 more subscribers to go before I hit 1,000. I hope to God I can hit 1,000 before, you know, um, I don't know, 2018, 2019. By the time I'm like almost 30 by then. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm going to be old as fuck. Hopefully I'm still doing this. I don't care if older people's like, oh, you're too old for this crap. I don't give a fuck. They can go fuck off. I don't care. I enjoy doing this stuff. I'm going to continue to do it. Unless I get bored of it, then I'll probably stop doing it, but I'm probably not going anywhere, anywhere anytime soon. So yeah, Road to Apples are dangerous. Like I said, links in the description box down below and saying annotation. Let's get it in, three, two, one, and I almost forgot to turn on the fucking volume. Excuse me, one second. There we go. Nice and fucking dandy. Here we go. <laughs> three, two, one, let's get in, and uh, if I had to do a two-parter, apologies in advance. Let's get this bitch. Let's do this shit. This presentation is helping you get diabetes so you can live a better life. <laughs> yeah, diabetes, what the hell? Good morning. I'm Willie Brentford. Oh, I remember that thing. My the William Brentford thing. I don't know what the hell it was. Like Wilford Brimley, like the commercials are old as fuck. <laughs> Discretion is advised because it's going to be a lot of cussing in here and sexual jokes most of the time with YouTube poops. <laughs> oh, the ugly face. I remember that's a troll face. Ew. <laughs> the hell is that on her face? Oh, no. 
the volume discretion is advised because these YouTube boots, when I make them, they usually make them extremely loud sometimes, randomly. Yep. So you got to be careful with that shit. What the heck? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that dude. Ah, uh, that's one of those Terry Crews commercials. He does the Old Spice commercial. Oh my God! Develop, directed and developed from television by television. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh man, that's hilarious. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's another thing I love about YouTube. Poos. There's like a shit ton of references that you gotta like. Remember. That one was from the Boondocks. It's like, why good? Yeah, yeah. Like that one. That show's hilarious as fuck. Yeah. I can't wait to see my cousin. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider -Man. That's probably from that one joke yeah. meme that says, you can't tell me what to do. That's when I first started getting into the Brony community. And I'm gonna make babies. Oh, Oh, my God. Oh, that's from that Saturday Night Live on thing or whatever. I hope I don't get a copyright claim for that one. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, I know what these are. That's one of those things where they put all the sounds and noises and make it into like a song. I've seen these for years, even before like MLP. Like almost 11 years to be exact, a long ass time. And I just want to let y'all know that I got a real big dick. <laughs> she was probably gonna say like shindig or something. Roll full print, lots of legs. 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 Probably gonna make her die or something. Now you're trapped. Seriously. Oh, yeah. You know what? Right there. Wow. What the fuck? What was that? What? I didn't even notice that was. Bart Simpson. <laughs> oh, it's funny. That's the part where Homer's always choking his ass the fuck out every time. Thanks for watching. Oh man, that was funny as fuck. What? Oh, I got that joke. <laughs> oh, man, the whole Pingus thing. I remember that way back when. My God, that's nostalgic, man. That's almost about, I think, 15, 16 at that time. Oh, man. That's when YouTube was just barely even, like, scratching the surface on social media at that time. And that's pretty much what made the whole internet famous afterwards. After Google and YouTube were whole, doing their whole little thing, and they're still doing it big now, but... Back then, oh man, the sky was the limit. You didn't have to worry about as many copyright claims or strikes and all this other fucking bullshit that the mainstream media tries to throw at you. And that's what I miss about the old school YouTube, man, I really do. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions, it was really, really nice. It was really hilarious, man. <laughs> so many jokes of reference. That was that MC Hammer joke or whatever. I hope I don't get copyright claim for that, man. That's the thing. I don't know how these guys always avoid getting their channel shut down or whatever, or like their copyright claims or strikes or anything. I don't know how they do it, but you know what? I'm glad the YouTube algorithm robot machines don't give them copyright strikes, because let's face it, there's no way in hell there's only a hundred or a thousand people that are constantly checking out people's like YouTube videos to check if, oh, you get a copyright strike for that or a claim without them telling you. It's got to be some type of like, you know, like, um, some hologram robot that works at Google, whatever, and they're constantly checking on people's videos to see if they broke the YouTube rules or regulations or they regulated something, you know, all that shit. It's happened to me like four years ago almost, and um, I never did it ever since. And hope to God that didn't happen because, I mean, if I get a copyright claim, that's no big deal, but if I get a strike, I'm really fucked. Because I'm not sure if I got either two strikes and if I get another one, I get shut down, or if I get my second strike and it won't shut down. 
That's one thing I really don't want to find out. That's the problem, though. And if that happens, I'm probably just going to stick on daily motion instead of YouTube because there's way less regulations over there than there are here. And over here, it's almost like you're in school. You say something bad or say something really fucked up, you might get a claim or strike if you show something inappropriate. The only two big things I know for a fact that will um, shut your channel down really fast if you show pornography, number one, or if you um, show any copyrighted like um, TV stuff or if you play a lot of like um, mainstream media music from like real professional like music celebrity artists or music stars, that'll probably get your channel shut down really fast too. So I don't know. There's a very few handful of YouTubers out there that have millions of subscribers that are get, able to get away with it because, you know, they're famous, you know? Me, I can't do that. I fuck up like that one time, that's it. You're probably never going to see me again. This channel is pretty much never coming back, unfortunately. But it pretty much depends on status, who you know, connections you have with YouTube. Especially if you got somebody like, if you're friends with one of the CEOs of Google, for example, you know, there's no way in heck your channel's getting shut down. But if you're an average Joe like my ass, you're, you're done. That's it. Unfortunately, that's just how the way of the world works. That even happens and applies to real life sometimes, too. You, if you fuck up one time, you say the wrong thing to somebody, or if you fucking, what's it called, um, you extremely, like, racially discriminate on someone, or if you try to hurt or kill someone, you're obviously, you, you don't get no three strikes. If you try to murder or kill someone, you're obviously going to go to prison for the rest of your life if you get caught, you know? That's pretty much real life YouTube copyright strikes, <laughs> unfortunately, you know? That's the world we unfortunately live in, but... Anyways, yeah, this was, <laughs> this was some funny ass shit. I really, really like this crap, man. It's amazing as hell. Even after like 10, almost 11 years, they're still playing like YouTube poops. It's hilarious. That's actually like the second way I even found out about My Little Pony when I used to watch YouTube poops back in 2011, 2012. That's actually how I found out about this show because at first I actually thought this show wasn't a real actual show. It was somebody's imagination until I found out like two, three months later. I was like... Bro, this is an actual show? Holy shit, okay. That's when I started getting into it. I really started liking it. And before you knew it, that's when I wanted to become one of the bronies. I was like, fucking sign me up for this shit. This is awesome, man. And I've been into the show ever since. Fast forward almost four years later. Well, next year, February, will be four years. But anyways, um, that's all I got to say, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. <laughs> the whole Pingus thing. Pingus! Oh, God, that shit's hilarious. It's all fucking hell, man. It's amazing. It, it, it caught me on spot. It took me right off. It, it kind of took me off guard a little bit, but, you know. <laughs> it gave me a lot of good-ass laughs. It was this all-time high, perfection with a T, all that good shit that I normally say. It was 10 out of 10 IGN rating, you know. <laughs> and I know this is old, but um, this is still really good. I thought I saw this one before back in like 2011 or 2012, but this was 2014 of February. So I don't know if this was a re-upload or this was an actual brand new one from this year. I don't know. They even have that dude with button mash. I remember that. That's the one where that dude's always like yelling and playing and he has like a crush on Sweetie Belle or something. I don't know. That's all I got to say. It's probably dark as fuck. You guys probably can't see me anymore. That's why I decided to put my light on. But the lighting in my room, I kind of got to adjust this in a sort of special way, so... You probably can't even see my face. You can probably just see the outline of me, and that's it. So, trust me, I'm still here. And that's it. So, links to description box down below and the annotation on the side. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasus. I will see you when I see you guys. Good day, have a good night, wherever you are, at around the world. Don't drink some movies at the same time. Don't take the reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it black about there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out. Later, guys. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. You guys, stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy for you. Do you do yourself. Peace out. I'm out like sauerkraut. I'm gone. I'm getting the hell out of here. Stay tuned for more future content on this channel. And as always, stay tuned for more updates. See you guys later. I'm out. And um, <laughs> shout out to this man. What was his name again? Kill Collar? I think it was Kill Culture 4. I don't know what his name was. But shout out to him. He's <laughs> oh, man. You really made my night with this, buddy. Peace and goodbye.